Hi everybody, it's Amy. These are the pre-recorded instructions for the week of May 4th. So I'm on the OneNote calendar and let's get started. So I have the schedule up here for our learning. There's a video here if you'd like to watch it. It's a very interesting video and since this is a video class, it might give you some ideas for something that you might be working on in future and it is a music video. So it's your choice if you wanna watch that or not. For today, um, actually, I'm just putting everything on the fourth. That's just for the whole week. Um, period five, DVA, here we go. So we'll meet live in Teams Wednesday from nine to 9.50. If you can make it, that's great. Please fill out this Microsoft Forms for the week. Try to finish it by Friday if you can. On Thursday, I'll send out some reminder emails to finish it, but I really shouldn't have to send those out if you just do this on the day we meet or before when you get my email that would be really helpful. Basically, um, every week we're gonna have a new one. It has seven questions. It's very simple. It keeps you on task. It helps me understand what questions you have so I can answer those, especially if lots of people have the same question, I can go in and answer all at once. Also, if you have specific questions, I'll be looking through and I'll be emailing you with some answers. Uh, please watch the pre-recorded instructions. That's what I'm recording right now. And I will put those links right here in the OneNote so you have access to those. And I'll also send those in the emails I send to you and your families. The videos will be available to families of, based on some of the high school students that I've talked to. They said that the YouTube channel was the easiest for them. And other people said the Google Drive was easy. Both of those are public. They're acceptable. They work really well. And it'll also be embedded in the OneNote. So please attend the live meetings if you can during your scheduled time. This week, I need you to finish your music video if you can. I know I've just went through a few minutes ago and I looked and there's a lot turned in. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go and add some feedback before we meet next time. So that means that with your groups, go look at the feedback and you may just need to spend a few minutes um, reading that and then a little bit of time revising and refining and then turning in your final projects if you can. If you still need more time, just send me an email. That's okay, I understand. Basically at this point in the semester, what we've been told is that you need to finish all the projects and the assignments. If you do them, you're gonna get a passing grade of a certain like percentage of above, and then you get an A in the class. If you do not do the assignments, then you will get an incomplete. And we really don't want that. That means you have to make it up in the summer or in the fall. It would be nice for you to finish everything, feel like you've done a successful job, and uh, pass the class and get that A. So that's my goal for everybody in the class. Please don't give up on yourself. You can totally do this. We only have really two more projects left. If you've fallen behind and you're missing some assignments, please spend some time working on those assignments because it will really help you in the end with your percentage grade to get that A, okay? The personal film project is what we're working on right now. Please follow the instructions. Let's click on that link. I went through and I fixed a lot of links. If you find anything that doesn't work or it goes to an error page, please let me know because you and period one video middle school are doing a similar or same project. And a few of them got mixed up. I tried to fix everything, sorry about that. But I think it's pretty much um, ready to go. If you do find something in your personal OneNote that's not quite right in the turn in pages, please let me know also. So last week we did the planning and it seemed like a lot but basically week one was two weeks ago and that was the storytelling and the planning for the narrative, just ideas and reading through the information. Week two, which was last week, was doing your storyboard and planning. So that was supposed to be already done, but if you haven't done it, then go ahead and finish it. This week we're working on uh, week three, we're in production. That means you're filming and you're collecting media. So filming your scenes, collecting clips, locating sources, Please make sure you fill this out. This is super important. You're gonna need this when you are putting in your credits and you're finding your resources. When I did my master's degree in online learning, one of the things that I did was I took a class in video production for instructors. And this form is similar to the one we used. Oh, it was so handy. All my photos and images were in this column. All my videos were in this column. My music and sound effects, I put links in. I had narration in my files and I put the file in here and then other things that I needed. So it was really handy and it will save you towards the end of your project and during while you're collecting things. Um, going back to the calendar so we can make sure that you see that all of the information I was looking at in the personal film project tab is on the calendar too. 
you need to know that I've copied this and I've pasted it to the calendar, okay? So organize your media, and that way it makes it easier for you to locate items. If you need to pop them on a flash drive and attach it to your laptop, do it. If you can put them on your laptop, that's fine. Please don't work from OneDrive. You are going to find a lot of problems when you work from OneDrive and you're trying to take things from OneDrive and put it in your Premiere file. It needs to be in your C drive or on a disk drive. I've never had luck with OneDrive working in Premiere. It, it shuts down. It works too slowly. You don't really want to work from the cloud. You want to work on your machine, on your computer. Okay. If you have questions about that, let me know. Review your storyboard and script so it matches up to your clips and your media with your planning. If it changes as you're working on your project, that's totally fine. Make some adjustments in your planning if you need to. And then refilm anything that you still need or replace your media. Um, let's see what else. Turn in your production work here. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So um, audio clips, film clips, anything you've got. Uh, someone in, Someone already asked me, hey, can I just take my... A resource chart and pop it in here? Yes, absolutely. Just put a link to your resource chart if that's where you're holding it. But this is just another place that you can put your stuff so I can take a look at what you've got. Um, if you can't share something, it's too big of a file, easy method to share. Make a OneDrive folder and share it with me. And then pop the link in here or email me that link and write in here, hey, I've put it in a OneDrive folder. Um, because that's really going to help you. And this is right here. This says you can also make a OneDrive folder, place everything in the folder, and add the link to the folder below. That tells me that you are working on organizing. Organizing is super important with video production. So it's one of the things that we actually score. Standard two is organizing and putting something together. And this is part of that. Um, let's see what's next. That's it for the week. You're filming and you're collecting media. If you need help with filming and angles, let me know. Uh, remember, there's a tab up here for cinematography. Go back and review this. The cinematography tab has a lot of information about production roles, filming styles. We talked about all this and we practiced it. And of course, there's composition. This is mostly photography, but it might really, really help you when it comes down to what's the angle that you're going to take? You know, are you filming on a staircase? Film above, film below. So take a look at these composition you can just flip through them. Some really amazing things in there. I think you'll like those. So next week you're going to be editing, but if you work ahead, that's totally fine. Also, don't forget about this online assignment. Hopefully you did it. Uh, that's a formative. Um, I don't think I'm going to change that one to something that's actually um, counts in the grade because that was the first week we were off. It really helped everybody. For those of you who did it, thank you. I'm going to click on the link and I'm going to show you once again there are so many resources here. Whatever you can access, click on use the stuff. There's videos, there's film, there's all kinds of information here. Please use that, okay? But your assignments here from now on are going to be, I'm not allowed to put the word summative in, but the formatives are going to count towards your grade, okay? So this is what I've been told now. If it changes, I'll let you know. But I need to see a percentage. I need to see what you're doing. I can't track what you're doing if formatives don't count. It doesn't tell me if you're doing any work because it doesn't show up and it's too difficult to see who's doing work or who needs help or who needs to improve. So basically do as much as you can. And remember, if you have a, like I think it's a 1.5% or above, you're going to get an A in the class. So if you do nothing, you will not pass. Remember that. So you want to pass. Okay. Um, last thing, email me if you have questions. This link takes you to the booking site and you can book a time with me. If you have other questions, please let me know, and I will see you in the live team sessions if we have that this week. I'm not sure if I can make it to this time this week for our live session. I will do everything I can to make it there. Thanks so much.